Camouflage prototypes quietly driving through. California streets have just confirmed something extraordinary. Tesla's engineering division has officially validated a sub $25,000 electric vehicle platform that rewrites everything we thought we knew about automotive cost and production. The prototypes labeled internally as E for 1Y aren't rough test cars. Their production intent hardware, stripped of every unnecessary component, engineered with surgical precision to include only what contributes directly to performance, safety, or regulatory compliance. Gone are panoramic glass roofs, power-adjustable leather seats, or high-end light systems. What remains is a bare-bones design that exposes Elon Musk's real plan not to build a cheaper Tesla, but to redefine how cars are designed and manufactured from the ground up. Instead of treating cost-cutting as an afterthought, Tesla is using this platform to architect a whole new way of building vehicles that treats legacy automotive luxury as dead weight. Every design choice in these prototypes signals a turning point for electric vehicle economics. From lightweight frames to ultra-efficient drivetrains and minimal interiors, every detail tells a story of precision engineering and data-driven trade-offs. Tesla isn't chasing luxury here. It's optimizing the very foundation of mass production squeezing out inefficiencies in areas no other automaker dares to touch. The most visible example of this philosophy lies in Tesla's simplified exterior. Many casual observers see the removal of features like the panoramic glass roof or full-width lead bars as cost-cutting, but they actually represent something far more profound. Tesla is rebuilding the car's exterior architecture from scratch. It's focusing on performance, efficiency, and manufacturability. For instance, eliminating the all-glass roof doesn't just save a few hundred dollars, it reduces the car's total mass by 15 to 20 kilograms, while also lowering the center of gravity compared to traditional glass panels. That weight savings is critical when you're designing a smaller car like the upcoming Model 2 that's expected to use a 40. Every kilogram saved translates directly into better range per kilowatt, helping. Tesla stretch more distance out of a smaller, cheaper battery. Even lighting elements play a part in this re-engineering strategy. The decision to remove continuous LED light bars on the front and rear is not simply an aesthetic downgrade it reduces electrical draw. Complexity and component count. Continuous. Light strips require 20 to 30 watts more power than standard light assemblies. When you scale that across hundreds of thousands of vehicles, it becomes a measurable energy savings. That efficiency gain supports Tesla's aggressive target of achieving 6 to 7 miles per kilowatt yearly. 40% better than the 4. 2, 5 miles per kilowatt, typical in today's larger crossover EVS. Simplifying side mirrors and external components adds another layer of benefit. By eliminating power folding mirrors and puddle lamps, Tesla reduces both wiring complexity and energy draw. These small tweaks remove one or two kilograms of mass and even eliminate an electronic control unit which reduces load on the car's data bus and simplifies production. The E41Y demonstrates a consistent pattern. Every removed feature represents not a downgrade, but a deliberate optimization toward mass production and efficiency. Traditional automakers often misunderstand this approach, but they view Tesla's minimalism as penny-pinching, but in reality, Tesla is performing a kind of engineering stress test, pushing every part of the car to its minimum. Viable configuration while still meeting regulations and consumer expectations. For example, placing the glass roof with a metal one doesn't just change the look. It dramatically reduces cost and complexity. Internal data shows that a metal roof with optimized insulation can deliver equal thermal comfort for about 23% of the cost of a panoramic glass panel. Combined with Tesla's advanced heat pump, and thermal management system, the company redirects those savings directly into research and development of next-generation battery chemistry, particularly for the upcoming solid-state race. Aerodynamics are also being rethought from scratch. The E for 1Y prototypes feature active grille shutters and a drag coefficient below 0.22. Achieved through computational fluid dynamics optimization of steel stampings instead of expensive composite panels achieving a drag coefficient that low through 
Conventional methods would typically require $1,800 to $2,400 worth of composite materials per unit, making it impractical for a mass market car. Tesla's approach using software optimization and smart metal shaping scales infinitely once the tooling is paid for. It's a breakthrough in cost efficiency and scalability that will give Tesla's low-cost models an edge no one else can match. Even the tires demonstrate this thinking. The prototypes reportedly ride on 18-inch Kumho, tires engineered with low rolling resistance compounds that perform comparably to Lucid's premium $340 Michelin's butt cost Tesla under $95 each. Thanks to scale partnerships and vertical supply chain management, when all these changes are combined, the E41Y becomes a blueprint for the Model 2 a car, designed for mass production, with minimized drag, reduced parasitic losses, and optimized weight distribution. Analysts expect the final Model 2 to go, even further with a shorter wheelbase, lighter chassis materials, and possibly a drag coefficient as low as 0, 21. These are the numbers. Tesla must hit to achieve the kind of efficiency that allows a smaller battery to deliver real world. Range without compromise. The interior follows the same disciplined philosophy. Inside the E41Y, everything unnecessary has been stripped away but not recklessly. Instead, Tesla has re-engineered the cabin around durability, comfort, and simplicity. The result is a cost architecture that eliminates about $1,800 worth of traditional luxury components while maintaining all critical safety ratings. Instead, of synthetic leather upholstery, the E41Y uses high-quality cloth seating surfaces that are cheaper but still durable. Power seat adjustments are replaced with manual single-axis controls, further reducing wiring and motor weight. Heated and ventilated seats, ambient lighting and rear infotainment screens are gone, replaced with simpler, more functional alternatives that retain comfort without complexity. Unlike in most cars where cutting luxury means cutting safety, Tesla has maintained all critical protection systems. The same airbag configurations, reinforced structural zones, and driver assistance sensors remain. The company knows precisely. Where consumers notice perceived quality and where they don't. Studies show that most drivers judge interior quality by the steering wheel, seat comfort, and dashboard touch points. So Tesla retained its high-quality steering wheel from the Model Y, which costs only about $180 to produce, but feels like an $800 part. The seats use memory foam cushioning under cloth upholstery, costing $42 per seat instead of $87 for vegan leather, yet feeling nearly identical after regular use. Tesla's interior team has also found cost-neutral ways to maintain perceived refinement. For example, the dashboard's soft-touch top layer was removed saving several dollars per square foot, but customer satisfaction tests revealed no noticeable drop in quality. The premium audio system was reduced from 13 speakers to 10, but advanced digital tuning preserves over 94% of the model. Wise sound experience at just 61% of the cost. In fleet testing covering more than 8,000 miles, drivers reported zero comfort or audio complaints, proving Tesla's data-driven minimalism works in real life. All these optimizations are highly strategic. Industry teardown and analyzes show that interior components can make up 15 to 20 percent of a vehicle's total manufacturing cost by cutting powered seat motors, RGB lighting modules, and secondary displays items that collectively cost between $1,200 and $1,800 per car. Tesla can reallocate resources toward safety systems and core performance features, like advanced driver assistance processors and high-precision sensor arrays. These changes allow Tesla to maintain top-tier safety credentials. The company's vehicles consistently score among the highest in NHTSA crash tests. Engineers believe the Model 2 will continue that streak even with its simplified cabin. The result is a car that feels deliberate rather than cheap functional, minimal but unmistakably Tesla. What's even more fascinating is how Tesla has reimagined its drivetrain configuration to sidestep one of the industry's biggest problems, rare earth material shortages. Competing automakers like Toyota and Volkswagen have been hit hard by the scarcity and high cost of rare earth magnets used in electric motors. 
But Tesla's E for 1Y data suggests it has found a way around this dependency. The company's engineering team has reportedly shifted to a next generation permanent magnet free motor design that uses advanced copper and steel configurations, eliminating the need for rare earth metals altogether. This change doesn't just protect Tesla from volatile material costs, it represents a technical breakthrough. The motor design relies on electromagnetic optimization and advanced control algorithms that achieve torque and efficiency levels, rivaling re-earth-based motors without using neodymium or dysprosium. By doing this, Tesla not only insulates itself from supply chain risk, but also ensures its upcoming mass-market cars can be produced in the millions without resource constraints. It's an elegant solution that competitors have yet to match. The rare earth free configuration also enhances environmental sustainability. Mining and refining rare earth L.